Get free tech advice for your business from O2 Gurus. Search O2 Business for more. Hey guys, welcome to BTech. It's Basil here talking about Android M. Google announced it earlier in the week. Android M is a new version update to Lollipop. What does M stand for? We don't know. My bet is Marshmallow, but you never know what Google's going to come up with. This video is all about what I like about it and what I really hope is going to land in the final release build of Android M later this year, whatever it ends up being called. The first thing I love, the volume rocker or buttons can silence the phone. Priority in whatever profile files just aren't enough, they don't cut it. So you can directly access those profiles by just dropping the volume right to the bottom and then you can control everything. It's actually quite a nice and seamless way of combining volume controls and profile settings as well. Second, on the tablet, you can pull down from the top for the notifications tray anywhere and the pull down notifications bar will appear wherever your finger is. This isn't on the phone, it is just on the tablet. And if you ask me, it's pretty cool. Third, Google's given us the option to customize our quick toggles menu. The quick toggles menu for anyone who doesn't know is when you pull down the notifications tray and then you pull it down again, you get a list of options and you can quick setting change a few things. So access Wi-Fi, switch Wi-Fi, on and off etc. Now you can customize what actually appears there. Fine, it doesn't really work just yet. It's locked somewhere in the system tweaking in developer mode or whatever it is. But the key thing is Google's thinking about it. So you never know when the final build lands, it may be there. Fingers crossed. Fourth thing I really like is the applications tray, specifically on the tablet. On the phone, it does look a little bit messy. You've got all the letters on the left-hand side, just not great. But on the tablet, it's very, very clean, very, very seamless. It's changed from horizontal to vertical scrolling, just like on the phone, but you can get a lot more in there so it makes much better use of space than on the Nexus 6 screen. Fifth thing I like, the widgets menu across both phone and tablet. Just like the applications tray, it's vertically scrolling, but unlike the applications tray, you've also got horizontal scrolling elements too. Each widget, you can swipe horizontally to access the alternatives of the widgets. Many people didn't even know there were alternatives to widgets, but there are, and many widgets have two or three different variants. So it's very, very cool that Google's done this in such an intuitive way. Now there's loads of stuff going on under the hood in Android M that I haven't talked about such as new battery saving optimizations, permission verification, you've also got new Google Now integration that's app contextual but I'm not going to talk about all that stuff. What I'm going to talk about now is all the stuff I want to see that's really really surface level landing in the new final build of Android M when it does land. The first thing I want to see is a clear all function in the multitasking bar. Lollipop can get so 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 cluttered with background processes and memory management isn't the best anyway. It would be great to just have one button and then you clear everything going on in the background and you can start with a clean slate. Other manufacturers have put it on there. Fingers crossed Google takes heed or at least improves memory management a little bit there. Next, I want to see landscape view in phones. Sony's doing it with the Xperia Z3 Plus. You've got big screens on the majority of high-end phones now and they can hack it. The third thing in the applications tray on the phone, get rid of the letters. They don't look good, they take up too much space and yeah, they just don't add anything for me. The fourth thing I want, I've already spoken about it, the quick toggles being customizable. Hopefully in the final build, it'll be there and they'll work. Next, native customizable screen settings like white balance and saturation, etc. Asus, Huawei, Sony, they've all put this on. You can see I've got my Nexus 9 and my Nexus 6 here. They both use different screen technologies, but they both have the same wallpaper. They look so, so different. I want to make them look as close to each other as possible and ideally as close to what my eye wants to see. So if that was happening at an OS level, as with Windows Phone right now, for example, that would be awesome. Next, an elegant button or a gesture that allowed you to easily pull down the notifications bar without having to reach to the top of the screen, specifically on the Nexus 6 because 6 inches, it's huge and even my big hands struggle with it. Finally, an Easter egg. For anyone who doesn't know, past Android versions have had an Easter egg when you tap, tap, tap on the Android version. With the lollipop Easter egg, it took you to a kind of Flappy Birds style game. 
Who knows what the Android M1 will be, hopefully something to do around the confectionery that Google's chosen, but whatever it is, let's hope it has one, because at the end of the day, it's one of the really fun elements of Android. So that's been our top five highlights in the preview build of Android M, as well as a run through of the things that we would like to see in the final build when it lands later this year. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, click that like button. And of course, if you like BTEC, subscribe to the channel. Subscribing helps us out massively. Thanks for watching.